Hello from Tokyo. Today I'm going to do another swipe painting. But for the base, I will be using this color here, which is the light gray that I used in my last painting, this painting. But I've added a little bit of the brilliant blue. So it's like a light grayish blue. And the swipe color will be pearl green this time by Amsterdam. And to this swipe color, I've added three to four drops of silicone oil. I've also added some to this uh, light gold, which I've had for a while for a few paintings. This color here is permanent blue violet, but I've mixed a tiny bit of this pearl white to make it a little bit metallic because I did that with the oxide black in the last painting. And this one is a customized pearl lilac. It is permanent blue violet with iridescent white. And this one here is cobalt blue ultramarine. And then I have a little bit of bronze and there's the light gold. And then I think I will add some primary magenta. And this one is the customized pearl pink, which really shone or shined or which can't speak English shone in the last one. So I'm going to use it in this swipe as well. The base color is super thin as usual, as you can see here. The colors are also pretty thin, but a tiny bit thicker than the base paint. And I am using the 70% PVA glue and 30% water mix for the base paint. And then for the colors, there is 10% Floatrol in the mix. I find that that helps thicken it a little bit because my glue is super super thin so let's start by laying down the base had quite a few air bubbles in this one so I'm going to pop them all with the torch and then we can start to lay down the colors. I'm going to put plenty of the darker color down because the uh, pearl color, the pearl green, really needs it to show once it's dried. So I'm going to put some more of that, um, what was it, the violet uh, as you'll see in a moment, so that there's it'll extend right to the end of the swipe. I'm adding the swipe color to the palette knife, and then it's time to swipe. And it's just gently gliding over, not pressing too hard. Um, sometimes I do, you'll see in some of the swipes where I get a streak through the middle. If that happens, I never re-swipe over it because I think it ruins it. And once it dries or settles, it kind of changes shape anyway. Um, you can always torch it to see if it brings up more lacing to kind of disguise it. Uh, so yes, so I'm going to do one more swipe here. And then I'm going to do some blowing out and fixing the actual um, design a bit to how I want it. And then I'm going to do another painting. The second painting I'll be swiping in the opposite direction, but I'll just be showing the results of that one. So we'll come back to see the wet result of two versions and then the dried of both versions too. Thank you. 
The back of a palette knife is always so pretty when I finish swiping, but it never does anything cool when I use it to swipe with, so I'm going to not do that and just blow out the edges and play around with the design. I'll also be doing some finger dabbing along the edges to try and create these wispy bits um, after I do the blowing out. So then I'll come back and talk to you once um, I've completed with the design. So I hope you enjoy the rest of the video today and speak to you in a bit. Let's have a look at the wet version of the first painting. Let's go in closer. You can still see that the pearl green is white at the moment. So you can't really tell how that's going to look just yet because it's wet. But look at the colors. It's all jewel tones. Really nice combination. And you can see a faint outline there and i think that's gonna turn pearl green later i love this color combination it's really really pretty yes i think this was a good idea to add in a little bit of the magenta as well i wasn't going to at first because i wanted it kind of like peacock colors but i'm glad i did and here is the second painting where the swipe was done in the opposite direction I feel like you can already tell the green color, the pearl green, slightly on top of the purple or the violet. The colors again are just so fantastic. I love that blend there of the violet and the ultramarine, the cobalt ultramarine. And oh yeah, over here too. Yes. Oh, that is where I actually did swipe and pull some paint along by accident. Can you see? 
But as they say, there is beauty in imperfection. So now let's have a look at the dried finish of these paintings. The color combination works so well. It's so great. I love how it's got darker, which means the pearl green becomes more obvious. There's a little bit of silicone oil residue left, although I have wiped most of it off using the window cleaner that I showed in my last video. Now let's tilt the canvas and check out the shine. You can see that customized pearl pink again really works. It's complementing the pearl green. Let's have a look at the second painting where the swipes were done the opposite way. Let's see if there's any difference in this one. I'm just changing the orientation because I prefer it this way. So let's have a closer look at this one. The pearl green is showing up the most on the dark violet, but then look! You can see it on top of the other colors and also along the edges you can see it on the actual base color so that's pretty cool i'm loving that so let's have a look at the two paintings together i quite like it together like this because they look like lips <laughs> and they look kind of cool this way too and now let's have a look at it in natural light near the window I think my favorite part of this particular painting is the edging, how it took on that pearl green shine. Really different. I like it very much. Although this swipe series was dedicated to dragons for the year of a dragon, I feel like these ones look like some colorful fish, like guppies or fighting fish. Do you see what I mean? Did you like this painting? What did you think about this color combination? I hope you enjoyed this today and you'll try the same. So thank you so much for watching as always and see you in the next one. Bye!